Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the story that I'm about to tell you. This story is based on um, my mathematician, Niccolo Fontana Tartaglia, and he was an Italian mathematician and an engineer who originated the science of ballistics. He is known and is famous for being the first person who had solved qu cubic equations algebraically, which actually was not true. And this is where another person walks on into our story named Del Ferraro, who was actually the first person to solve cubic equations using algebra. But of course, Del Ferraro felt like he couldn't tell this to anybody, so he kept it quiet until he was on his deathbed. So using his dying words and his dying wish, he goes to tell his student, Fior, and he goes, I have solved how to you, or I have figured out the equation to solve cubic, like, equations. And he goes, oh my gosh, please tell me. And so... Del Ferraro tells Fior how to solve these cubic equations. And Fior, with this new knowledge, gets a huge head and he's like, Everybody, I now know how to solve these cubic equations. Nobody can talk to me. Nobody can touch me. I know everything when it comes to cubic equations. And so he's boasting to everybody. He's like, Big head, I, I got this. And so he calls out our man, Tartaglia, and is like, Hey, yo, let's duel. Let's go head to toe. I got you. I'm a better mathematician than you are. So Tartaglia being the strong Italian man that he was, he accepted the challenge of the duel against solving the e cubic equations um, against Fior. So each of them wrote 30 questions um, that the other opponent had to solve. So Fior being super overconfident and cocky with his new sense of knowledge, he thought he had it in the bag, but when it came... <laughs> When it comes down to it, hi baby, when it comes down to it, uh, he's working through the problems and he's just, he's not getting, not getting very far. Well, on the other hand, 13 hours prior to their duel, Tartaglia had um, discovered a method to solve squares and cubes equal to numbers. So he had this new method just ready to go. So come time for the duel, their duel in. Um, Fior is working on Tartaglia's questions. Tartaglia is working on Fior's questions. Tartaglia just blows through his questions. 30 questions. He finishes all of them in less than two hours. Just done. He's done. Fior is still working. We obviously know who the winner is. It's Tartaglia. Definitely not Fior. He didn't finish his math. So Tartaglia is our winner. Sucks for Fior. Shouldn't have got a big head. Meh. So nobody could meet, beat our Italian math duel king. So this is when another man walks into our story, Cardan. He gained word that the duel was going on in Venice, and so he was intrigued, and he thought that if Tartaglia can complete these questions in such a short amount of time, he's got a method. He's got something. I wonder if maybe he would be willing to share his method. So he writes to Tartaglia, and he's like, hey, um, have you thought about publishing these works in a, uh, like in a book? of some sorts. And Tartaglia was like, yeah, like I'm working on it. Like I eventually would like to publish all of my, my recordings or all of my findings in a book. Just, just be patient, just be patient. And Cardan was like, okay, like I get it. Disappointing, but I get it. Understood. So he was like, but I know that I have to, you're going to publish it in a book, but maybe bro to bro just let me know. Just tell me the formula. And Tartaglia is like, no, I'm not doing it. Sorry, dude. So Cardon leaves. I guess he just didn't. He was never there. He just wrote him. But so there's, they just don't talk. Well, then he said he was he was upset. He said he was disappointed, but he said he was he was understood. He was not understanding. He uh, wrote Tartaglia again. And this time was like wanting to debate as to why he wouldn't want to share his knowledge. And this time Cardan got some of his more powerful friends involved and was like, hey, they want to know why you don't want to share your knowledge either. Let's have a debate. Let's talk about this. And Tartaglia is like, all right, like I'll I'll come to Melon, Milan, where where Cardan was at. Um, we'll have a conversation because in the back of his head, he's like, if I go there, maybe I can score a new teaching job two birds, one stone, get to show everybody I'm super smart, new job out of it. It's great. So he goes on over there, meets up with Cardan. They're chatting and whatnot. And again, Cardan is trying to get him to tell him his method. And Tartaglia is not budging. He's like, no, no, like, I don't, I don't want to share it. Like, I don't want to. And Cardan's like, come on, please. Like, just what is it? What's the method? And so eventually Tartaglia, he caves and he tells 
he tells Cardon the, the method. He, he gives him a secret formula. And he makes Cardon promise to never tell anybody, to never share it with anybody, to never write it down, share it, anything. Like, it has to be between them. He does, basically doesn't need to know about it. Like, it's just, he knows, but he doesn't know. He needs, he, nobody can know that he knows. Um, and Cardon's like, all right, fine, whatever. So within that same year, Cardon then posts, or posts, excuse me, publishes two books. Um, Tartaglia reads them, and he's happy to see that his method was not included in Cardon's works. He kept his word. Great. So some time passes, and in 1545, Cardon re releases a book that had contained solutions to both the cubic and quartic uh, equations, plus other works that were solved thanks to Tartaglia's uh, formula. And while Cardon credited both Tartaglia and Del Ferraro, the guy we mentioned earlier, who was actually the founder of uh, the solving the cubic for cubic equations, he credited both of them, but the damage had already been done. He still wrote about Tartaglia's methods. So when Tartaglia got wind of the book, he got the book, he read the book, boy, oh boy, oh boy, was he furious, betrayed, angry, and he just had this ever-growing, festering hatred towards Cardon for breaking his promise. Like, he was, he was just pissed. So Tartaglia published his book within the following year, um, 1546. And basically his book was his narrative of his side of things being like, this was my method. Cardon shouldn't have post that. And his book was just filled with public insults, dragging Cardon through the mud. He's just like, this guy sucks. <laughs> He's the worst. Like just bad. Well, because Cardon's, uh, other two or his books got his last book with a uh, tartaglia and davaro's uh credited whatever his works um got so popular cardon was like up here like he was a big boy now and so tartaglia was kind of mad and so he was trying to publicly debate cardon he was like let's let's fight like i want to we want i want to talk to you and cardon has no interest he's like no like no thank you dude and so cardon's friend actually ferrari told uh cardon he's like i'll debate him so then ferrari and tartaglia start messaging start writing each other back and forth and they agree to meet up to have a, another duel to have just this debate and try to solve each other's try to solve each other's math well tartaglia shows up he's super confident he's like got this in the bag i know how to do this i wrote this stuff i'm the king of this stuff and ferrari's just sitting there he's like yeah okay Tartaglia came, comes prepared, but he was not prepared enough because what he did not account for was have Ferrari having extensive knowledge of cubic and quartic equations. And so he, Ferrari was just killing Tartaglia in the debate. He was just, Ferrari was just winning, winning. And Tartaglia was not. And he decided, he's like, I'm not winning right now. So I should just leave if I can't win. I'm just going to go because he thought if I, if he leaves, then he's, he, nobody wins. But of course that's not how fights work or that's not how games work. If you, somebody obviously leaves, then they are the, the loser by default. The other person wins. Um, so yeah, Tartaglia had really, uh, given up everything. He went there, loses the fight, just leaves. Eventually didn't get to keep his job again. Like man had a hard life, but when we think of him, we think of the man who is responsible for the formula to finding the um, solutions of cubic equations, and we think of his math duels against Carbana. So my question for you, my viewers, as you're watching this and as you're finishing this up, do you think Tartaglia has, was in the right to being so upset? I personally do, but I would love to hear what my fellow classmates or other people who watch this uh, have have to say and their thoughts on it. So bye bye. Have the greatest day. Chloe out.